so right. you know what that is. It's a laboratory used by geotechnical engineers to find the shear strength parameters of soil. Mm -hmm. Pennies? Well, yeah. soil is all they're talking about. The U.S. and U.K. standards defining how the test should be performed are ASTM uh, D3080 and a BS number, um, 1377, etc. The test is performed on three or four specimens from a relatively undisturbed soil sample. A specimen is placed in a shear box which has two stacked rings. Remember I was talking about the two stacked rings? To hold the sample. The contact between the two rings is approximately mid-height of the sample. Then a confining stress is put on top to load it vertically to the specimen. And the upper ring is pulled laterally until the sample fails. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah. So we're doing an approximate shear test as far as what this is described. Cool. But I wanted you to understand that yeah. This is where I got them brainwaved to come up with this wig on it and put lipstick on his fingers and he They do know that. I can't yeah. That was, that the, was the, the old Ed Sullivan show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was it. <laughs> Donna Fogg. There we go. There you got it. Measured it, I assume you made it level, right? Yes. Yeah. We use my little hand. I was the penny mason on that test day. Let you guys do it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit of Is that your dad? Oh. Alright, so here's another one pounder. So we have three pounds in there right now. Four pounds? That has to get up to a certain weight and it still doesn't work. Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. Great. Good. Hi, hello, Mike. hello, hello. I did an audit this morning with my insurance company. Let's do a test lab. Right. Let's take out did you pass? Uh, you know, yeah. You know what happens? They go back and they tell you that you didn't pay enough. So we had four. <laughs> happens They're every year. I'm waiting for the rebate one year. <laughs> so how far out is five? On you? Well, are we're you? actually this starting the, the experiment. Test. Really? Right. Oh wow! Get it all I set up. How are you? Okay, how are you? Go up on the platform oh, and take a look. Five pound. So that's eight, eight. nine. Nine. Any movement? Oh, we're gonna have an observer here. Ten. I think Jeremy, get up there and observe. Somebody's gotta observe. Sure. Yeah, we have a lot of fives. You sure we're going up by fives? Wait for it to move. I guess. I was going to wait for it to move and then we can take it out and well, like, we have yeah, four one times. Let's do one by one. Get so the that's ones up, pull them eleven. Up the bigger ones. 12. You may be over 100 pounds to make it move. I oh. don't know. 14. Should we just go by a size then? Sure. So there's. Five, you got, you got 10 pounds in there right now. So there's some stuff in a bucket. 15. <laughs> when this starts to lift. Move. Oh, move this way. Move that way. That'll be the uh, friction. There we go. It's moving. Oh, that was a 20, so that's not very accurate. All by itself? Oh, that's not. It was, it was oh. a um, oh, oh, four fives. Okay. So it's somewhere between 15 well, and 20. That's what, what's moving, and it's still moving very gradually. So Ooh, that's the number. Like, I can't read that upside down. I never took physics, so I have like no understanding of what's pounds. going on here. Well, I'll, I'll go over for <laughs> you okay. in a minute. Yeah, he's <laughs> Does it make sense? This will tell us how thick the front panel should be. 17. Oh, uh, when I do the engineering. Are I'll, you watching it? Where did I? There's 19. Is 19 moving? Oh, it's it's moving. moving. Okay. So that's 19. Do that. Well, so it seems. I think it might have moved beforehand. We yeah. the rope was 3.3 3 pounds. Is that what I'm reading? Who wrote that? That's Jeremy. Yeah. That's 3.3. 3. 3.3 3 just for the box. Yes. Is that right? 23.3. You guys did everything in the measuring from metric to. We did it in pounds. Pounds. British, huh? Great. So the scale now the what we've got on this one was 19? Mm -hmm. 19. So but it may have done lower. two tests since I drove up? Yep. Yeah. Wow, boy, look how I brought you guys speed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you and Mikey, uh, Amy, are putting all these pennies back. 
Because yeah. okay. we have to. We're all leaving. Okay. How did, did you just bring them over this morning? Yeah, in buckets. So how long did that take? Didn't take too long. Yeah, it was pretty good. Trips. So did we have done? Rounded off 23 pounds. Was able to pull 108. Was it? Yeah, 108.2. 108. Now we're putting on 60 pounds more. So we have about 170. Okay. And, about and uh, the question is now how much. doing your ratio, yeah. what should be the weight you put in right. the bucket if the friction is still the same? About 30, right? Yeah, it should be around 30 ish. Yeah. Yeah. 30, 35, yeah. Okay, so now I'll start loading. All right. This I'm, is the special test. I don't ah. think this is going to like, all surprise us. Like, Val, do you have to make uh, a new mark? Uh, no, I just slid the stick so the oh. came back. Oh, okay. One, eight, eight for three of them. Ah, uh, that's the tangent. Tangent doesn't Four. Do the arc tangent. Uh, Do that again, zero. Jeremy. So, if this penny box was designed for water, we need you need to make design a new box that's um, two point four times stronger. Is that correct, Val? Yes. Okay. Four more. 